copy readers, guess what book we're talking about today? The title probably gave it away, didn't it? So today we're going to be talking about Two Lies and a Spy by Kat Carlton, and this book is pretty freaking interesting, let me tell you what. So it's about this girl named Kari Kari? Kari? Karina? Yes, and her parents are spies for the agency. And one day in class she gets this like black code black text. Oh my gosh, run for cover. It's time to go. She takes her brother and takes him uh, to the secret places to meet up and she almost gets kidnapped and finds out that her parents have uh, one parent, her mom, has been taken not really into custody but uh, has been attained somehow and then her dad's on the run somewhere and so she's like I don't know what's going on but I need to find my mom and so she recruits some of her friends to help break into Langley and break into the agency and uh, it's not the CIA or the FBI they just call it the agency and they have spies and things like that but uh, basically they break in there and that's where the story just kind of explodes. Not that the story doesn't start earlier than that that's just where all the plot twists start and uh, finding out why the agency is looking for her parents and all that kind of stuff and uh, figuring out who these characters are really. Well specific characters because we find out a lot of things that we thought we knew and didn't. There are a lot of plot twists in this book and character twists if you want to call them that. And that's about as far as I can go without spoiling. So to review this book I uh, was given this book for review and I uh, wasn't sure what I was going to think about it and about uh, a couple pages or so in, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this because she's very much like talking not bad about herself, but down about herself because, uh, you know, she barely knows any other languages other than English and her brother knows like four different languages. Even though she knows karate and things like that, she's just kind of, I don't know, she, there's just something about her personality that I was just like, I don't really like you very much. But uh, as her story goes along and you figure out that she does have the makings of um, some sort of spy, some sort of, you know, intelligent being. Uh, not that she's dumb, but she just keeps calling herself dumb and I'm just like, you know what? You're actually a pretty smart character and the people around her, she not uses them like in a bad way, but she uh, finds out that they have different skills that she can really use. Um, so she's got her friend Rita, who's a great hacker, and Kale, who she's been training with to uh, do martial arts, and then I think her name is Lacey, yes, uh, who um, they hate each other, but, uh, becomes kind of her makeup design person, um, or disguise person, and, uh, Luke, I guess he's kind of, I mean, you gotta have some sort of love interest in there. He's the son of the director of the agency, and so that's kind of how that plays in, even though Lacey's also daughter of the director of the agency, and Evan Kincaid, who is just the light of my life, really. He has his own plot twist and his own greatness, but basically he, uh, I guess his charming aspect is that he's British, but he also just does some hilarious things, so that's why I really enjoyed him. So overall, this book kind of starts off kind of eh, but then gets into really freaking awesome, and I believe it's going to be a series. It's, it, it like ended off as kind of series-ish because there's uh, just stuff, stuff. There's an envelope. Come on, anything that ends up with an unopened envelope, you're just like, okay, well, this is a series, I hope, because you just left me with that. So, yeah. So basically, you guys need to read this book, and so I'll leave links below as to where you can buy this book on the internets and elsewhere. And so, yes, have a great day and keep reading.